Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Um, it was brought to my attention on the last live stream that I kind of glossed over the inventory management and the levelling system. So we're going to set that straight right now. So this will be just a short video just to give you the gist of what's going on. Okay, inventory management. This particular version of Mass Effect didn't really make a good job of it. It's a bit of a mess. So we look at equipment. All of the different weapons will start at level one. For instance, this is your starting weapon, and these are the stats. Your damage, your shots before overheat, because these weapons, as I mentioned, use heat sinks rather than um, ammunition. So you can fire until they overheat. So this bar will tell you how long you can fire before they overheat. The weapon that I'm using at the moment, obviously, far better. Damage speaks for itself. Accuracy rating also speaks for itself. All of these stats can be improved with mods. Now, frictionless materials does slightly more damage with slightly less heat. So you can reduce the amount of heat output from the weapon by putting on mod that reduces that. Um, you've got optics will give you further range and accuracy and ammunition upgrade, upgrades will do different things. The snow blind, blind rounds reduce the rate of fire, give you more damage and more accuracy. But they all uh, less accuracy, I do apologize. Um, but they also reduce the heat of the weapon. Inferno rounds will reduce your accuracy, will give a fire damage, a status, but also increase the heat of your weapon. This is the same for shotguns, pistols, and sniper rifles. Now, Commander Shepard is the only one who can equip grenades. These have a, a basic damage and then you add a modification for a different type of damage. You've got poisonous, you've got fire, you've got high explosive and you've got radioactive. Armour, <coughs> similar thing. Um, different classes can wear different types of armour. For instance, I'm playing a soldier who can wear the heavy armour, which is what I currently have equipped. Now, because I'm playing a higher level character, I have access to the grade 10. So when you begin, if you begin a new game, you'll start off only having access to level 1, maybe level 2 equipment. But obviously this will increase as you level up. Um, the rank 10 stuff will only appear after around level 55. Um, and as with weapons, the Spectre gear is going to be the best stuff you can get. For instance, you've got these two here, both level 10. That's slightly better on the heat, a lot less accurate, and a lot less damage. So these are the things you need to compare when you're equipping your weapons. You don't get access to the Spectre gear until you're made Spectre, which we should be able to cover in the next stream. Hopefully I'll get to that point. But uh, every trader that you come across will have different types of weapons, different types of armour. Um, it's a case of mix and match. And the same goes for your squad. You can equip everything. And I... I've got plenty of money, so most of my gear is level 10 Spectre. Right, Omnigel. Anything you have in your inventory, you have limited inventory space, you can turn to Omnigel. Omnigel is a multi-purpose goop that somehow you can use to pick locks, hack electronics, I don't know, You do, perhaps you just smear goo on the lock and it dissolves no idea. But any excess that you're not going to use 
or that you don't want to sell, turn it to Omni Gel because you have a 999 limit and it's worth, definitely worth doing. Especially if you get stuck on a puzzle that you particularly either don't want to spend the time doing or can't quite figure out. There are a couple of tricky ones. Um, armor, same deal. Ashley is a soldier, so she can wear the heavy armor. These also have mods. You can increase the shields, or you can increase the damage that you can take, or you can increase shields and shield recovery. There's 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 many different uh, mods. I didn't want to do that. That one. Right. The leveling system is fairly simple. You're given a certain amount of points per level and you add them as you like. Depending on the class that you're playing, you will get you will start off with a few points in certain skills. For instance, pistols. When you've got three points in pistols, it opens up the marksman ability. And once you've got four points, you can then put points into shotguns. Each tree has its own special ability. For instance, overkill, advanced overkill, and master overkill. Each each time you add, the ability gets more powerful. Now I've built this particular character to be a damage dealer. Um, first aid I've kind of ignored. Just got the basic first level on that. And once you get, again, once you get to be a spectre, it opens up the spectre tree, which increases your stats and the amount of damage you can deal. These all dependent on how nice or nasty you are. You can basically get the same, <laughs> it's the same power, it's just got a different uh, a different name but uh, each character you can set your squad to automatically level up and it will add the points itself it's it's fine if you if you don't want to micromanage um, there we go the journal this is where your quests are at the moment we've just started but we have got this from a reporter so we can go and get some information. This one, we just have to keep going to chat with this fellow here. This one is the one we scanned from the computer that we hacked. This gives us the location to go to once we're out and about. Could be some quite interesting fun things. At the moment, we have very little on there. That will, as we get out and about, that will increase. Right, I hope that was helpful. Um, and I'll be streaming again on Friday at 7.30. So I hope you can join me. And I'll see you then. Cheerio.